Okay, everybody. So how's my beautiful people doing on this Saturday? I'd like to welcome you back to the Order 1886. Went and bought me a, uh, a fairly decent TV. Not top of the line. It is uh, 1080p, but unfortunately... I think this game DVR only records in 720p, so. The Agamemnon shipping manifest. All the cargo is destined for the Americas. There's nothing on the back, man. Leave it. Hold on, we'll check uh, something right quick. Settings. Audio. That's all the way up. And the recording, it, I don't know, it just doesn't sound good. So, yeah, like I was saying. Can't really afford an Elgato or a capture card or whatever, so I have to use this for now. So I hope the videos turn out, you know, fairly decent. Girls having a rough time. <clears throat> oh, yeah, lock picking time. Let's see if I can get it on the first try. Yeah, right. Right there. Oh, piss. I was trying something different. Man. There we go. Trying to catch it. The uh, controller vibrates a certain way when you hit the right. You get the tumbler in the right position. I just kept uh, missing it. United what? India uniforms. No ranks or assignments on the sleeves. We'll check out those right now. It's a good time. What the fuck was that? We'll skim through all these so you guys, you know, you can pause if you want. Just in case you missed any. Alright, should be good. What the fuck is that noise? Oh. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I bumped into the uniform. Nothing that way. Oh, let's see. What do we got here? A little vamp. Huh. Okay, we got something in here. Nah. Nada. Let 
mean, you can work around this thing with the only 15 minutes if you just watch your time. Could the rebels be planning here? It's not terrible. It's good to use if you don't have anything else. <laughs> Be a little a photograph of Lord Hastings. A little shuffle there. Is that all the things? Yes. Percival, come in. Percival. Long enough to have me worried. Galahad, where in the world have you been? Percival, we may have a situation on our hands. What is it? First, call in Nicola. We'll need armament. The rebels turn the psychiatric ward into a hideout and what looks like a staging area. There are clues that indicate a potential threat to the United India Company. I'm telling you, I'm fine now. You still need some time to recuperate. I assure you, Gray, I'm perfectly well. Will there ever be a time when you will heed my advice, Izzy? You know the answer to that question. But you would have to obtain Father's blessing first. Huh. There he is. My friend Galahad. Well, Marquis, where have your concerns for my well-being gone? Oh, Mademoiselle, I never doubted for a moment that you would prevail over these miscreants. However, the same cannot be said of your gallant knight. Not a word of this to anyone, Nicola. Understand? As you wish. You are taking a big risk. What did I tell you, Monsieur? We'd almost given you up for lost. I... We were unavoidably detained. Come. We don't have much time. Uh, sir, this is for you as well. It should all be in working order. Thank you, Nicola. And the other weapon? Ah, yes. You never fail to deliver. First of all, for you. Might come in handy. The Agamemnon, what's its status? It has already departed. On its way to Portsmouth for its last port of call before it leaves for the Americas. And the security detail on board? Have they been made aware of the rebel threat? For all we know, the guard detail could have been infiltrated by the conspirators. We need to unravel this without arousing suspicion. The Council should at least be apprised of this situation. We don't have the luxury of seeking the Council's permission. We're getting aboard that ship. And how would you suggest we do that, Mon General? It is already airborne. That should be easy. You read my mind. All right. <clears throat> Sentinel Five, we are on board. Acknowledged, Sir Percival. Sentinel Five is eating back and will remain available for support. Confirmed. Thanks for the drop off, Captain. Good luck, sir. Sentinel Five out. Is this your idea of easy, Monsieur? We're all secure, Percival. We move on your mark. Very well. Let's do it. Ukraine, Lafayette. Damn it, man. This is most precarious, my friend. Giving up so soon, Marquis. In position! Uh. I'll shatter you! Uh. <coughs> Ooh, that's fun, man. <laughs> This 
Damn, dude. Quickly, let's get inside. Yeah, let's. Stow your gear. Lafayette and Galahad, you need to gain control of the cockpit. Quietly. Understood. Isabeau and I will do reconnaissance. We need eyes on the ground amongst the guests. And imagine me with nothing to wear. I suppose I'll have to go dress shopping. Pulls off engagement, monsieur? Do what you must. We don't have time to distinguish between rebel conspirators and the company guards. Well, we've worked without a safety net before. That is true. And then again, they are commandeering the flagship of the United India Company's fleet. Questions? Then let's move out. So, <coughs> It's a long story. One that I will share with you when the time is right. There's still much that I have to find out for myself. I hope you know what you're doing. It seems that the Council grows wary of your defiance. The Order is not what it once was, Grayson. Yes. You've said that much before. <laughs> Patience, old friend. All in due time. All in due time. Stealth mode. I shall be as silent as the grave. What? The we don't lose stealth mode. Guard. Sorry. We should hurry. Wait for my go ahead. On me. Go. Dog pal. There's a lot of, a lot of grunting going on over there. Secure the cockpit and await further orders. Got it. Hey, whoa. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, boy. <clears throat> what the? Job for a mechanic. resistance from company guards. They are using deadly force. Reciprocate if necessary. Understood. Well, that went well for the first time so my friend No, we're not that way. The other way. This way.
Seeing if there's anything around. I'm enjoying the hell out of this game. Seize the ship in the name of liberty. Percival, liberty. The cockpit is secured. Lafayette will remain at the helm. What is your status? Lord Hastings is in the vicinity of the ballroom, aft of your location. We will try to get eyes on him. Get here fast. Acknowledge. Shall approach you once I've made reconnaissance. Remember, a steady hand at the tiller at all times. Leave it to me, monsieur. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, I'm enjoying the f heck out of this game. No, I probably already said that, but it's true. I would also like to address my other series. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Dishonored, Fallout 3. They're kind of on hold now. I want to concentrate on this game for now. And I should be getting into the Uncharted series. But I will be going back and finishing Dishonored and more than likely Fallout 3. Stealth mode activate. Crap on a cracker. Crap, he got me. Damn. <sighs> Dang guy. Uh, the timing was not right. I can see some editing in my future. Fuck me. Damn guy. God damn it. That's gay, dude. Oh god, this is just horrible. So what do you have to wait for, dude? I mean, first guy was easy as fuck. This fucking guy's being a dick. I don't like it. Stop being a dick. Oh shit! 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 Damn it! Damn it! Oh, I gotta cut this out. I thought he was going to turn around and go the other way. <laughs> uh, I will be cutting some of this death out. Just to let you guys know.
Damn it, man. Man, fuck. Fuck a duck. I swear to God. So when is the best fucking time, dude? Gonna kinda look around. Just right quick, just scan, scan. Scanning, nothing. Okay. So I guess when it like pulses like that, that's the perfect time. Did you hear? The company posted sharpshooters down the black wall. <laughs> Just a rumor. Ah. Uh. Almost forgot to check my time. So we have to. I'm sure there's a way to get their attention. Kind of like in Metal Gear, where you can knock on the walls and stuff. Next guy. Too bad Nicola couldn't make us like a, a suppressed weapon. But yeah, I guess that'd make it too easy. He glitched out there for a second. Glitchy little bitch. Might be able to just sneak past this damn guy. Dude, don't poke your head up. What are you doing? Go the other way, jackass. No, 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 don't come this way, don't come this way, don't come this way. I'll take one of those nips right about now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, 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 Yes. That's perfect. It should stay that way. None the wiser. Take me a little nap. 
Ah, just kidding. Let's get into the ballroom area. We'll probably end this episode here in a second. Lucan, quite smoothly. We shall be in Portsmouth in a few hours. Indeed. Then off to the Americas. Damn it. He was to escort the Lord until the ship reached our borders. Should he be informed of the situation? Risk alerting the rebel agent. Galahad is right. Alistair will not appreciate being kept out of this. Worry about that later. You might yet be welcome support if the situation requires it. We proceed as planned. Understood. I'll let you know when I have a better vantage point. It's all something over there. There's a damn suppressor, man. In position. You are to hold fire. Kill him right now. Weapons hold confirmed. The rebels are using stolen company uniforms. They'll be dressed as guards. Guards without proper insignias. The uniforms in White Chapel didn't have short patches. Indeed. Well, we'll keep him informed in the next episode. Alright, guys. Cutting it here. <laughs> of course. Into the next episode. Gave that away, huh? Anyways, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out.